Zombie. You oh, hello, Jesus, what the fuck? I don't trust TP. This is a travel point. Travel to any section on the train. Oh, that's neat. You, train man. Excuse me, Mr. Gustav. Well, if it isn't little Lucio, what can I do for you? I'm wondering if you had seen my sister? Hmm, I don't know. What does she look like? A tall, ghostish looking girl with long arms? That is the most freakish description I've ever heard. But yes, she did come through here. Looking for you, as, I'm, as a matter of fact. Did she say where she was going? She said she was going back to her seat to wait for you. But that's impossible. I would have seen her. Maybe you walked straight past her, without noticing. No, 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 I don't think so. Nothing ever gets past me. And nothing gets past Gustav, too. Because he takes up the entire doorway. <laughs> Are you sure you saw her? I am sure, little one. A ghoulish girl with long arms. Ghoulish. Yes, ghoulish or ghostish. Something like that. She did seem quite happy to see me, though. I think we... I think we both are. Before you go, could you please check on my buddy, Stretch? I haven't heard from him in a while now. If you haven't hurt his feelings already... <laughs> I, I think I did. Where does he hide? Mm, he should be in the luggage compartment somewhere. Always waiting to take someone's luggage. The poor guy. Okay, I'll go find him. Luggage compartment. <clears throat> what the fuck? Shit. Oh no. Zombie. Oh Jesus. Oh my gosh. Stretch. What happened? The woman. She did this. She... She came out of nowhere and ripped the trolley right off my head. That witch! Is there anything I can do to help you? Just watch out, Lucia. She is after. Which way did she go? She went into the secret carriage. Press the button on the wall there. Stretch. I'm so sorry. But I have to save my sister. That woman said she was after. You. I'm very sorry, Stretch. I must go. It's okay, Lucia. You, 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 you. <coughs> Stretch! I'm so sorry. No, don't worry about it. Press the button. This must be the switch. Strange. I feel sleepy. No, no, no. Don't say that. Don't say that. Don't say that. This looks like some sort of entertainment stage. Zombie? Zombie! Are you okay? I'm... What's wrong? Oh, hello. Hello, Lucia. It's you! Give me back my sister! Lucia, I don't have much time. You need to listen to me. Why should I listen to you? You killed my sister! Your sister is fine. Trust me. Why did you do this? Because I want this all to end. What to end? For hundreds of years, me and my sister have been stuck like this, trying to find a way to set us free. I'm sorry, Lucia, but this was the only way. So you stole my sister's body? Do you think it's okay to steal other people's bodies? Lucia, you don't understand. I don't have to. This was your problem, not ours. Turn my sister back now. I can't. Not until the curse has been lifted. Then how do I lift the curse? By breaking the loop. We're already on our way to break the loop. You are both heading towards the beginning. Once you reach your home, you will restart the loop. That's not true. The noodle lady told me. Mother. Lucia, don't listen to her. Why? She is lying to you. What, what do you mean? 
She wants you to return home. I will stay like this for all eternity. That is not my problem. You can't do this to me. You should have thought about that before you kidnapped us. I, I know about your dreams. The marketplace. The therapist. Somber will admit that she is them too. But why? Why would Zombie hide them from me? It seems like she is protecting you. Protecting me from what? Sombria uh, was easily drawn to me. It's like we already had a connection. But you... Why you? What is so special about you? Mother warned me about you. What are you talking about? It is remarkable that you have all the answers. Why can't you answer this? Lucia, something is going to happen soon. And when the time comes, you are going to have to make a choice. What choice? The choice to save your life. Or hers. You don't mean me and Sombria. If you choose to listen to her, be warned. This will not go the way you think it will. All I want is my sister back, so we can go home. But there is something that still bugs me. If you're not the Red Witch, then who is? How, how did you know? Huh? What's up, bitch? I finally found you, little sister, hiding in the bodies of the living. For too long have I awaited this moment, hanging from your bathhouse wall like a photo frame, thinking of all those years how I could have spent my life. Sister, I'm very sorry. Shut up, Ashina. I've heard your lies through the centuries. There is nothing you can say that will make me forgive you. Please listen to me. This little one. She may be the key to setting us free. Don't you say anything about freedom. You have no idea what it's like to have your damn legs cut off, then chained to a wall for centuries. This is all Mother's fault. Who was it? What is going on? Go on, sis. Tell her one of your famous lies. Lucia, don't listen to her. You and your sister were not picked randomly. The curse is like a living mother. In order for it to survive, it must give birth. You two are its newest children. The loop. That's impossible. We have a mother. And so do we. And she is going to pay also. Leave these two out of this. They are more than welcome to leave. But you aren't going anywhere. Lucia, take your sister and go. The answers you seek lie somewhere on this train, but only if you wish to find them. Now go. Zombie. 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 Is she hiding out in the bathroom? No? Shit. Where'd you go, zombie? Zombie! You who- Oh, hello, Jesus, what the fuck? Um. They don't- They don't talk. Okay. Um. Um, zombie, do you know what the fuck is happening right now? Hey, are, are you okay? Zombie? We're almost home. What home? Our home. We don't have a home, Lucia. Of, of course we do. Please, don't give up on me now. Lucia, answer me something. What do you remember about Mother? Absolutely nothing. Well, not much. She was never around. I guess she was too busy working at the hospital. 
Uzia. We don't have a mother. What, what do you mean? She, she died over a year ago. I'm sorry. I've been lying about her coming home late. That's the reason I've been sending you to bed early. B but her car! I hear her pull up every night! That was my boyfriend. I've been lying to you this whole time. I, I don't know who to trust anymore. For the first time in my life, I feel empty. Lucia, I... Good old Gustav. Hey, little one. Come here, quick. Stop listening to their lies. Lies? Sorry, little one, but I could not help overhearing your conversation. What's it matter, anyway? <laughs> you don't believe that garbage, do you? What do you mean? What did I say earlier, hmm? Uh, I forgot. Well, at least we're out the other end. End of what? <laughs> the tunnel. I see the tunnel of sorrows has affected your mind somehow. The tunnel of sorrows? When the train passes through the tunnel, your worst doubts emerge. The tunnel shows you the worst possible things that could happen to you. So it was all a dream? Well, sort of, my tiny friend. More like a mirage. So none of it was real? See, that's the thing. It could be real. If you want it to be real, then it will become real. Can I ask you something? Far away, little miser. What do you see when you go through the tunnel? Nobody has ever asked me that before. What I saw was me crashing this train, killing every passenger, except me. Is that what happened to you? I should have slowed down. That corner, the ice. Uh, how do you know this? This is going to sound strange, but I remember. I remember being a passenger on this train when it crashed. I just can't remember why I was on this train. Oh. Then I must say, I deeply apologize, little one. How did you die? In my home. I thought I could drink away the pain. Instead, I made it worse. Once I joined my passengers, I could understand what it felt like to be let down. They depended on me. It wasn't your fault. These things happen. We don't control life. Life controls us. Are you sure you're the little girl I spoke to earlier? You sound a lot older. I don't know what is happening to me, but whatever it is, I feel it has almost consumed me. Like I'm finally about to wake up. Well, you are truly remarkable, little one. How was Stretch doing? He, he didn't make it. Poor kid. I'm sorry. It's okay, little one. He has arrived at his final station. Speaking of which, so are we. Man, this last chapter has just been a whole bunch of mindfuckery. The Tunnel of Sorrows. It shows us our worst realities. I couldn't tell her the truth about what I saw, but it will haunt me forever. <coughs> And that was the last time I stayed at the day. Oh no, shit, that's Sombria. And that was the last time I stayed at the Dayfield Motel. Huh. I wish you would just wake up, Lucia, so we can go home. Please. I can't stand to see you like this anymore. I want my sister back. My real sister back. Please, if you can hear me, give me a sign. It's been three weeks now. I hope the fourth one is the charm. I don't think that's how it goes. Doesn't matter. You will wake up, I know it. I... Just do. Please. I... I didn't mean to do it. It was an accident. I... I wish I... Just had slowed down. The corner. The car. I wish we never even went to see Mom that day. 
I'm so sorry, Lucia. Because of my mistake, you will never walk again. Just please wake up. I, I guess I'll just have to wait until you're ready. Christ, I need a smoke. I'll be right back, Lucia. Zombie? We need to go home. Um. I'm a ghost. Well, this is it. Our farm is not too far from the station. I hope that you know what you're doing, Lucia. We're all counting on you. So this is her just, oh god. <laughs> so this really is all a dream. And the story of the two sisters, Luzia is the lady in the wall because Sombria took away her legs in the crash because she'll never walk again. So that's how that story ties into it. The train conductor is also Luzia because he crashed and I guess killed the passengers, which I guess saw... Lucia, well, I mean, I think she's dead now. I, God, like, these last couple of chapters, holy shit. Like, it was a pretty uh, weird game start to start with, but now it's just, oh my God. <laughs> there is so much happening right now. Where's home? Zombie? I, I remember this place. I used to come here all the time when I was upset. You did? Why were you upset? I... I just get like that sometimes. I can't explain it. So you're depressed? Oh, and that's why, you know, when the lady in the wall and Ashina were having that argument, Ashina blamed it on the mother because Ashina is a representation of Sombria, and Sombria, they were going to see mo their mom that day, and Sombria never want you know, regrets going to do that, so she puts the blame on her mother. That's also why Ashina has inhabited Dream Sombria, because they're, they're, like, they're pretty much the same person. God damn. <laughs> god damn. <laughs> That's the only fucking words going through my mind right now, it's just, god damn. So much shit happening right now. I don't know what this final choice is gonna be, but I'm frightened. <laughs> so you're depressed? Yes. I'm not even surprised by your intelligence anymore. Lucia, I've been like this for a very long time. So, does Mom know? No. I don't like to share this with anyone. But you told me. Who else have you told? Just my therapist. I basically tell him everything. But he doesn't help. Isn't he supposed to? I guess, but he... Look, never mind. You can tell me. I... I can't. I'm sorry, Lucia. I just need some time to myself, please. Okay, I'm going to do some exploring. Do you remember where the exit is? I can't remember right now. Okay, but don't go anywhere. <laughs> you can be depressed here, okay? Lucia. Lighten up, zombie. It's just a joke. I'll be back soon. Let's see, let's see. Anything of note around here? No. Okay. There's Sombria. Ah, save point. Perfect. 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 Game saved. Hooray. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Platform 12. Um. Huh? <laughs> Die? <laughs> I love the question mark on that. Like, normally you see, like, blood on the walls, like, die. And you're like, oh god, but this one's like, die? Like, maybe? Like, die? Like, m m maybe you'd consider death? Like, I don't know, if you're into it? <laughs> what was that? A fucking scary ghost bitch is what it was. I'm going back this way. Because I didn't fully explore what's over here. It's not working. wonder where it goes down or up probably up because this is a subway 
It's a long way down. A long way down, but it smells like chocolate? Um, the fuck? Oh, I probably have to get like some kind of wire or something to get it out. Boy, am I hungry. Too bad I don't have any money. Yes, I know. How unfortunate. Okay, so there's scary ghost lady to the left. What do we have over here to the right? Bathroom, of course. Sink. It's another sink. There's a loose pipe here. Could be useful. Okay, so now I have a pipe. It's another sink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Toilet? Can't open the toilet. Okay. Can I use pipe to break vending machine? <laughs> Can I get real fucking violent with this shit? Can't use this here. Can I use pipe on elevator door? I wonder, why would people throw chocolate down the elevator shaft? Yet it smells like chocolate down here. Wait, is there... Okay, no. Yeah, it's locked and won't budge. Metal pipe? Can't use it. Eh, I figured. Oh shit, is that... No. <sighs> so hungry. Hey, there's something in the tray. It's a candy bar. Very old candy bar. Yuck. Maybe zombie will eat it. I could enter through here if I were a lot smaller. I need to find something to widen the gap. Oh, I'm guessing this door is locked then. Yep. Well, how about we widen it with a metal pipe? I'll use this to pry the, open the window. I can just unlock the door now. Cool. But maybe we should check out this room first. Um. Oh, there we go. It's an old computer. At least it still works. What's this? Gate control. It must open the gate next door. It says it needs power. Backup generator located in the basement. Access to basement via elevator. How am I going to use an elevator without power? Great fucking question. I don't know. Hey, Sombria, you want, you want this fucking candy bar? No? think a candy bar or a metal pipe. What the fuck? I actually used the metal pipe on the elevator? Oh, no, 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 no. I used the metal pipe to open the fucking window. That's right. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. Candy bar? Oh, shit, that's right. It seems so stupid. Wait. What is that sound? Oh, hello. What are you? Can you talk? Can you understand me? Okay, I need to reach the basement. Is there a way down? You want this? Well, could you do me a favor? I need to turn on the backup generator. Hey! Where did you go? What's that sound? Hey, you did it! Here you go. You deserve it. <laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> okay, elevator ghost man. The mute elevator ghost. I don't know, so far he's my favorite character. <laughs> he's like, oh, candy bar? You have candy bar for me? I like Mute Elevator Ghost. He's cool. This is, oh, hello. Okay, now we have power. There's a strange sound coming from this tunnel. I think I'll leave it for now. <laughs> Die? Hello, Ghost. Who? What are you? <laughs> Another one to play with. 
Who are you? Who am I? Who are you? I asked first. Well, you're cheeky, aren't you? I am Virginia, but everyone calls me Ferd. Everyone? Yes. I have friends, you know. So what are you doing here? My sister and I are trying to get home. We just got off the train. Train? Trains haven't come through this subway for ten years. Wait. How can you see me right now? You're alive? I, I don't know. So you're a ghost, huh? I'm not a ghost. I'm a girl. I'm just a dead girl. What is your name? My name is Lucia, I think. Lucia? I know who you are. You know me already? Yes. You're the one that did this to us. What? Me? Yes. You witch. I'm... No. Witch? Thanks to you, we're all stuck in limbo. What are you talking about? Don't act dumb with me. You're the Red Witch. Oh. That's interesting. What? That's not true. That's impossible. You are. You're just a little girl? That's because I am not the witch. All of us daddies know you are. To obtain one's true desire, the Red Witch will conspire. You cannot lie to me. But I'm not me. Am I really the witch? Why does everyone hate me? Because you left us all in purgatory, in this godforsaken loop. The loop? Did I create the loop? You don't know your own story. Damn, you really did lose your mind. I don't remember anything. The last thing I remember is waking up. I couldn't sleep, so I went to find Sombria. Hey! I know Sombria. She's the girl that comes here to cry. To cry? She said she comes here when she's... Depressed? Yeah, she does depress a lot. <laughs> Why did I create this loop? To punish us. You put all of us in purgatory. All for your sister's sake. My sister? What are you talking about? Do you know why your sister comes here all the time? Because she's depressed? Haha. <laughs> no. All of us have a tragic story of how we died. Your sister is looking for hers too. No. Zombie. You created the loop to trap her and all of us here. Just so you could keep her alive. Just let her die! So we all can. I... I can't. You don't understand. She is my sister. I don't understand. I'm already dead. I can't move on. We all have to make choices that we don't like. What would happen if she did? We could all move on. The loop would be broken. I have a hard choice to make. You owe us. We've suffered a lot longer than you have. Please. I, I need to speak to Sombria. I'll be back. Well, I ain't going nowhere. Thanks to you. No. Okay. <laughs> Live. <laughs>